Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I am going to show you three fun folds you can do with mini slimline cards. And we're going to be using one single sheet of 12 by 12 cardstock to make these three cards. I'm also using the April kit of the month from Not Too Shabby. Here is my 12 by 12 piece of dark green cardstock. I'm going to cut the first piece at 3 inches, giving me a 3 inch by 12 inch piece. The second piece I'm going to cut at 3 inches, so I'll have a second piece that is 3 by 12. Then for the third piece, I'm cutting this at 9 inches, which will give me a 6 by 9 inch piece of paper with a little piece left over. Now I'm going to score the first piece at 6 inches and 3 inches. And the second 3 by 12 inch strip, I'm going to score at 3 inches and 9 inches. And then for my six by nine panel, I'm gonna score this at three inches and six inches. Pretty easy measurements, all in all. All right, so this is a Z fold card. This is the first piece. I'm folding it in half on that six inch score line, and then I'm gonna fold back the on the second score line, which is a three inch score line. And you can see there, it makes a Z. So that's a Z fold card. This is a gate fold card. So I'm gonna fold in the two ends. They're gonna meet in the middle. And so it'll have an opening like a gate. So this is a gate fold card. And for our third mini slim line card, we're going to have a tri-fold card. So I'm gonna fold in the pieces towards the middle one from the right and one from the left. And then that creates a trifold card, kind of like a brochure. All right, so now it's time to decorate up these mini slimline cards. When they're all folded up, they all measure three by six inches. And that's a mini slimline size. Here I have some pattern paper from the Lazy Days paper pad. There's actually two paper pads in this collection. I'm going to use both. And I have a piece here that's 2 and 7 eighths by 2 and 7 eighths. That'll go on that first square. And then on the inside of this card, I have a piece that's 2 and 7 eighths by 5 and 7 eighths. So just a tiny bit of border of that green card. Now I brought out a circle die set from Trinity Stamps. And I die cut two purple circles. And this one is to mount this kitty cat on. Now this kitty cat wrapped in the towel is so darling and this is from the ephemera pack from this box I'm gonna pop him up onto the circle with some foam squares and your card could be done there but I'm gonna add a second circle on the inside with a sentiment with pattern paper on the inside I like putting my sentiment um, on a separate piece of paper so now I'm stamping it's okay to take a break. And I'm embossing that with white embossing powder. And then let me show you how I line this up so that it's hidden when the card is closed. So I'm gonna line this up, making sure my sentiment is right side up. And then when I close the card, I can press it into place because I've lined it up with that circle on the outside. And it works great. So when the card is closed, you can't see that circle there at all. Perfect. And there's a third panel on the inside that you can write on if you would like a personalized message or on the back of the card. Okay, for the gatefold card, I have two matching pieces of pattern paper that are two and seven eighths by two and seven eighths. And I'm going to put one on each of those gate openings. And it is a beautiful pattern. I love the bright colors in this. So pretty. This might be my favorite from this collection. So there's the gate all ready to go and another pattern paper piece for the inside. This is also so a really great piece that has scripty words on it with flowers in the background. Love it. So we're going to keep this card closed with a belly band. So I have a one and a half inch strip of vellum that's 11 inches long, but it's not quite long enough to wrap around this card. So I need to have a little section to connect them. I'm going to use some double stick tape to do that on each end. And I needed a piece that was a approximately two inches long. I cut it a little longer just to be safe and then I can trim off the excess. So the 
thing that you want to do here is to cover up that seam where you had to add a connecting piece. And so I'm going to do that with um, embellishments. So another thing to note about belly bands is you don't want to fold them too tight. Otherwise, it's going to be too hard to get the belly band off and on again. So I die cut another circle, same exact size, just under three inches and glued that so that it was covering up most of that seam. I'll add some more embellishment later um, for the tiny little corner that's peeking out. So I popped up the girl that was on the couch for the center of my belly band and then I wanted to repeat that circle on the inside again so I stamped you deserve some me time and mounted that on the inside. And you can see here that my belly band goes on and off pretty easily and so I didn't fold it too tight. Yay! All right so let's move on to my third card. This is the trifold card and again I have a piece of patterned paper that is two and seven eighths by five and seven eighths so just a tiny little border all the way around of that green card is showing. I did a second piece cut to the same size and I'm gluing that on the other panel that folds in so there's something pretty on each of those three pieces. Then I'm going to stamp a sentiment for the outside of this card, look fabulous, and be awesome. <laughs> so that's going to be a, a, just a grounding piece for my scene. I'm going to glue that to the card. It's three inches wide, so it's going to go edge to edge with this card. I'm going to glue my cute little girl who I think is meditating <sighs> taking some time to focus and she's going to sit atop these macaroons. I thought that was so cute. Maybe they're macaroon pillows and maybe they're macarons. I, I can't keep them straight which one's which, but you know what I mean, right? Thank you. All right, so I added a cute little um, ephemera piece there that was a stack of books and tea and glasses just really cute and then a couple more cookies for the inside of the card and a nice big area to write on so there's my gatefold card now I want to show you how I embellished and dressed these up so I you could give them just like they are but there's so many fun images in these stamp sets I really just had to play with them so I am pulling out pieces, little small stamps from each of these two stamp sets. There is the Me Time, and then this one is the, um, what is it called? Time to Relax stamp set. And I, I had a hard time like choosing which images, but I kind of um, decided what each card needed a little bit of. And then I went ahead and stamped this twice in case I needed an extra, which I didn't. So I'll have some stamped and ready to go for next time. So I'll show you how I color some of these. It's very basic coloring. And I like I didn't show you how I colored that bow because I thought it'd be more interesting to see how I colored the flower with those same markers. But I'm using just two colors on these things and adding a little bit of a shadow with my darker color and then going back with my lighter color and blending that out again. So you can see here I'm going in with my lightest color first, adding the shadow with my darkest color and then blending that out again with the lightest color. So very basic coloring on these small images and easy to do. And I'll do the same thing on these little leaves with two shades of green, the same that I used on the coffee cup or the teacup and the same on that leaf. So now with my flower, uh, my pink flower, I'm doing the same exact thing. RV21 and RV13 are the two colors that I'm using. And I will finish up with the candle and the leaf. And you'll see here all of the colors that I use to color out today's images. So if you're interested in uh, matching these images, colors because they the colors I picked I feel go pretty well with the pattern paper so if you have this kit and you want to match up Copic colors to the paper and the ephemera you can see the colors I used and maybe give you a jumping off point although I'm sure you could play with it and get something very similar with markers that you already have as well so I'm just adding some white gel pen highlights to each of these images to bring them some life and there you can see all of the images colored and the markers that I used as well as 
my scissors because I fussy cut these out. <laughs> there are no dies for these stamp sets. So use your scissors or your scan and cut or something. And now you can see how I embellished each of these where I added on those stamped images. I also used the little sequin mix that came in the kit and put some of that on these cards as well. I didn't add anything extra to the insides of the cards, but you totally could. There's so many cute things in these stamp sets to do that. So there are my three fun folds for mini slimline cards. I also wanted to show you that these fit in a regular envelope. So do you remember back in the day, like maybe you used to take out a piece of notebook paper and write a letter like with a pencil or a pen and you'd fold it up and send it in an envelope that came from like the grocery store. That's this size of envelope that many slimlines fit in. I got a box of 40 at the Dollar Tree for my envelopes. There's also some great mini slimline die sets out on the market. I'm gonna link one that I love for you below and all the products that I used in today's video as well so you can check them out. If you're new here, I would love for you to subscribe. I have stamping videos all the time. Happy stamping, bye.